What's up everyone? It has been a couple weeks since I have uploaded a pickups video on YouTube. Really haven't done a lot on YouTube at all in the last couple weeks. Been working a lot, holidays, blah blah blah, crap, excuses. But um, anyways, I do have some stuff to show you right now from the past week. I got some stuff at the flea market last weekend, and then I did go garage shelling today. Pretty much probably the last decent garage sale day uh, until well into January. It usually slows down around uh, this time of year for obvious reasons. Christmas weekend, New Year's weekend, people are doing a lot of garage sales. Um, and of course, we'll do a random game giveaway uh, later in this video, so stick around for that. First, um, this past week at the flea market, I had a couple of decent finds. One, I was alerted to by uh, Jeremy, I was alerted to this NES bundle that this guy had out in the flea market. Um, not a game seller, just sort of a random everything seller. And uh, he had $130 on this bundle originally. Uh, I got him to come down to $110. bucks. i would say it's about $200 worth of stuff or so, give or take where you're looking. Um, but uh, it did have like a couple things in it that I wanted uh, for myself. It came in this cool kit. Well, this is the top. <laughs> this is the lid of it. It came in this big storage container right here. And uh, it has an original Nintendo in it with uh, all the hookups in really good condition. Um, did not look like it was played heavily for sure. Uh, it has a zapper gun and it had a few boxed games. We have uh, Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout. And it did not come with the box protector I put in that. Um, but there was also a box copy of Mick Kids, but I took the box and manual, uh, put it on my copy in my game room, and forgot to grab it before the video starts. So imagine this has a box around it. Um, then the other games in there were Jackal, uh, RC Pro-Am, everything had like dust sleeves and was all in good shape, uh, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, some filler titles here, Tetris, of course Mario Duck Hunt, Mario 2. There was also a Mario 3, but uh, I already sold that. It's already gone. Um, Ice Climbers. We have Donkey Kong Jr. The Donkey Kong games on the original Nintendo have uh, been climbing in price. I think um, classic, like the original Donkey Kong, is the most expensive now in the sense of uh, this, that one, the original one, or like the Donkey Kong Classics, the orange label one. Uh, but they've all gone up a decent amount in, in price. Big surprise, Nintendo games going up in price. Uh, we have MTV Remote Control, that one has the manual. Uh, there's a copy of Tengen Pac-Man in there with the manual and just the insert, not the actual outer box. Um, a few other box games, NASCAR and Top Gun. Of course, why couldn't the box ones be like the Donkey Kong Jr. and Ice Climbers? They had to be Top Gun. Um, and then also at the market, uh, I got from Garage Shell Steve a Super Nintendo uh, bundle and two NES games. Super Nintendo is gone already, uh, but it was like 60 bucks, I believe, for the Super Nintendo and Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3. So, a very good price from Steve. Then, hey, let's, let's go ahead and do the random game giveaway now. I think now's a good time. Hey, Katie! Mm -hmm. Katie, can you assist, please? I forgot to grab... Mr. Tickle and Snaggle Fruits. Are you tall enough? Oh. They're up there. Climb up the pile. Can you get them? <laughs> Careful. Okay. Do the drum roll on my head for old time's sake, and then that's the that's the winner name. Okay. You got okay, it. Okay, got it. It's a good one. All right. So here we go. The winner of this week's random game on whatever system they want. Ow! Is. Hammy Monster. Hammy Monster. Congratulations. Oh, it is. He has a little spear. Throw the guys. You have to throw them. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the cat. Anyways, congratulations. Thank you for watching. Please leave a personal message on YouTube or on the Facebook fan page. Link to that is in the about section down below. Let me know what system you want your random game to be for, and uh, I will have that mailed out to you in the future. It'll be after Christmas. I have like the last three winners. I'm just going to save them all, bundle it up, and mail them all after uh, the holiday season. So um, you'll still get your prizes for people that haven't got them yet. Anyways, hey, where did Katie go? Right here. She ran away. She's done. You can come back <laughs> for a few minutes. Uh, guess what, Katie? What? There she is. There's a game giveaway right now. Let's see if she can get this right for the Don't first time it. ever. All you have to do is what? Be subscribed. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up the video. Yeah. 
and leave a comment. Down oh below. my God, it's a Christmas miracle. Santa <laughs> delivered a present. <laughs> Anyways, that's all you have to do. Be subscribed, thumbs up the video, leave a comment down below. And uh, that is how you enter. You have until 11.59 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time this coming Friday. And the winner is announced in the next pickups video. It's holiday time, so I'm not really sure, you know, when that will be. But anyways, um, is that it? That's all you have to do for a contest? Oh, oh, we need a, a suggestion. Um, how about, uh, this is for the, the, the comment section down below. Your suggestion is... What, uh, what do you drink mostly? What's the thing you drink the most? Is it soda, beer, human pee, uh, water? Uh, myself, I've been trying to drink water pretty much exclusively for the last year or so. Actually, maybe a little bit longer than the last two years. I've done pretty well every once in a while. You know, some fruit juice, juice here, some maybe a sip of soda. What about you, Katie? Soda! Yeah, soda. Anyways. <laughs> That's your suggestion. Uh, you can leave whatever comment you want. Be subscribed, thumbs up, comment. All right, moving on to, hey, now since I was going to have to stop the video and keep walking, go grab me that bag over there. <laughs> just, got, just need that bag. And then while you're doing, I'm, I'm showing them this. Grab the box that the cat's ass is sitting on. Hold on, let's, let's get a shot of that. And there's the cat. Nope, don't need the cat. Yeah. I need the box that's underneath that cat's ass. Yeah. Yeah, okay, not happy kitty. Anyways. The stuff on top of it, too? Yeah, yeah, actually, yes. Need sunglasses? No, I don't need those. Garage sailing today. Um, Sprinkles did not go with us. He is um, on a little vacation up in Boston area, I believe. I took him to the airport. Did I put it down over there? Um, I took him to the airport, and I have to go pick him up from the airport, I believe, tonight. Uh, he did not come with us, but um, myself, Jeremy, went out, and I got... A GameCube, Platinum GameCube in this baggie. It has a controller, has a memory card, and then in the GameCube, not one but two games. <laughs> uh, I haven't even checked the condition on this one. We have Twilight Princess. Okay, good. It's like in really nice shape. I actually have a case and manual for that, I believe. And then we have a Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse. Um, that was five bucks. Oh, can you go grab me the other big box, the PS2? Um, when we got there, there's a guy at the sale. It's not his sale. He's just shopping, apparently. Guy at the sale goes, oh, I know what those guys are going to want. And then he points over to this sitting on the table. Oh, where did I start it? I made a mess. This is just a mess. <laughs> this is not. He points over to uh, the table, and there's this big box. PS2, I've never come across this exact bundle. It, it's the one that comes with the network adapter inside, um, and it has, uh, what, ATV Off-Road Fury 2. That game is here somewhere. Oh, it's back over here. Um, we have the game right there that goes in, inside this box. Um, but this was also five bucks. She apparently had just sold, like, 15, 20 minutes earlier, an original Nintendo with a couple games for five bucks. Missed out on that. Not sure... It always boggles me when someone goes to a garage sale and say, we'll buy like an old Nintendo for five, but pass on like the GameCube for five. I can maybe understand a PS2. That's not what... They just what, wanted a Nintendo. I guess they just wanted a Nintendo. Maybe they, that's all they needed. But uh, I don't have that one in my collection, so I'm definitely going to hang on to that. So I'm glad they passed on that one. Um, we And then also at that sale was a disc-only copy of Spyro Year of the Dragon that was just thrown in to the uh, the bundle deal. So 10 bucks for that GameCube, dragons. the two GameCube games. Those are dragons on his back. You're jumping ahead! <laughs> um, then, uh, picked up a few CDs at the garage sales. I got Cold Chamber. I actually own this, but I th thought it's chamber music. I thought maybe my uh, manual was missing. I haven't checked yet. We have Primus Manuel. Manuel. Uh, Primus the Brown Album. Beck Mutations and Primus Antipop. Uh, they were 50 cents each. Every once in a while, I'll just pick up a few random CDs. Um, we have Pawn Shop Find, 20 bucks. Um, one of the pawn shops uh, that I frequent where they're very friendly and they always give me great deals. Actually, one of the ladies that was working, I haven't seen like four months, so she's like, she had 30 bucks on this, and she goes, just tell me what you want to pay. I'm like, 20 bucks? She's like, yeah, that's fine. Merry Christmas. She thinks I'm cute. Yeah. <laughs> The light, you look like you're glowing. Uh, then we have another pawn shop. 
I was expecting to hopefully pay five bucks for Deadpool on the PS3. This pawn shop's a little weird. They'll look up their prices frequently. And uh, I was like, yeah, hopefully I can get it for five. I bring it to the counter and a lady I've never dealt with says, PS3 games, two for five. You want to pick out another one? I was like, what? Yeah. Okay. So they really didn't have anything else interesting on the PS or PS3, so I grabbed the Bigs 2 because it's a little bit more desirable than what they had there in the sense of like um, Skylanders uh, disc only games and stuff. Uh, then they had, this is just an empty case, but I bought the game from them for uh, Devil Survivor Overclocked a couple weeks ago and uh, the case was sitting like in the back, so they gave me the case for free. Um, what do we get? Oh, this was all free. This was uh, sort of a pass off from uh, a friend of mine that got these games, and he's like, I, I don't, I'm not going to play them. I don't need them. Um, and he got them for free, so then I got them for free. Yakuza on the PS2, the first one. Yakuza 2 is a pretty expensive PS2 title. This one's not super cheap, but uh, Yakuza 2 is, is like $70 or $80 around there. It's like $20, $30. Bucks. Um, but good game, very good game. Uh, Mercenary, Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. Max Payne and Manhunt on the original Xbox, all of those for zero dollars, zero dollars. Uh, don't want to show addresses on boxes, so this was from, uh, I don't know if you want, well I think he wanted me to say his name, hold on, he sent me a, a little note in here. Uh, this is from Sean, Sean sent me, uh, we did a trade, he sent me this box, and I've actually had it for a couple weeks and I've kept it aside, um, because he said he demanded I show it in a video or he was going to be very mad at me. So, Sean, this is the trade. Trade him like a WaveBird controller, a um, few games. I don't even remember what the hell all we all traded, but he ended up throwing in a few extra things in here that I wasn't like, suspecting. So, thank you, Sean. That one of those was uh, semen. He threw in some semen in the box. So, thank you on the Dreamcast. We have Final Fantasy Tactics on the PSP. Uh, Jean Dark Dark on the uh, PSP and Day Arc. Day Arc. We have Onamusha Tactics, uh, Yigdra, <laughs> Yig, uh, Tong, Yigdra Union, Game Boy Advance. Uh, the PSP camera in there. A red DS. You can grab a cat and make it dance or something if you're bored. Is that their phone? Yeah. What is that? There's music playing. <laughs> uh, anyways, a uh, red DS original one with like an extended battery on the pat on the back. A silver original DS. These I weren't, weren't expecting. He just threw them in. No chargers, but they do work. And what is this one? We have oh tactics ogre. We have this is like the main part of the trade was a very nice condition silver cat no. no cat but silver PSP in good shape and then that has a memory card and the chargers in here and there's like some screen protectors so thank you very much Sean now you don't have to be mad at me I showed our trade in the video she, she changed kitty cats we had a little cat swap there um, that's it pretty much for the pickups from this week I've been working just a ton so I haven't had a chance to go out and hunt at pawn shops and stuff as much hey I'm talking um, we, you know, you make her yodel. <laughs> we, um, uh, I have a, a deal going on with someone where I uh, should be getting a lot of really cool stuff for next pickups video. Um, possibly, who knows what I'll get at the flea market, uh, this coming weekend. So stay tuned for future videos. Also, if you never entered, uh, the contest from the last VGS episode, the one that's like Christmas giveaway, um, go do that. I already have to give away five prizes from that video because we passed 800 thumbs up. If you pass 900 by Christmas Eve, then that's six, you know, uh, prizes I have to give away. So it betters your odds and chances. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to enter the random game giveaway. Just be subscribed, thumbs up the video. Leave that comment down below. And uh, Merry Christmas because I won't see you until after Christmas. Happy holidays. Love y'all. Peace.